Hi guys, this is a quick rundown on the Hobby King Turnergy AccuCell 6, which is a charger for your radio control models, I suppose, for anything else you may want. But generally speaking, people are going to be buying it for their RC models. Um, I've just got this and um, it's taken me a little while to get the hang of using it. It didn't come with anything in the way of documentation, but I've pretty much got my head around it and I thought this might save people some pain and heartache in terms of how to charge their LiPos, etc. Um, so I'm going to quickly, quickly show you around the unit itself. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got a few ports here. These are your main charging ports, ports which output the necessary charge to the battery and we have some balancing ports which um, help it monitor each cell and keep an eye on the amount of charge going to each cell so if you were just doing a straight out charge you would just use these if you want to do a balanced charge you would use both of these and what I'm going to show you today is how to use both of these because I generally only do balanced charges um, and on the other side what we have here is the main power supply so you want to plug this into either a 12 volt battery or some sort of power supply um, and that's pretty much all there is to it so what I'm going to do is plug this in and show you how it's all configured okay so what we have here is the main power supply which is plugged into a it's a battery charger in my case as in a automotive battery charger um, and that will power it up uh, and then what we have here is a LiPo that I'm going to charge now. So what I'll do is I'll connect these leads. And what I have is those connected to the appropriate lead for the charger. This is a 3 cell. So I'll plug it into the only port that it'll go into. That's plugged in there. Uh, plug the battery in here. So now our battery is actually plugged in ready to do a charge and I'll run you through the settings on the charger. So I've got my battery uh, uh, connected up as in my battery that I'm going to charge as you saw and now I'm going to power it on so you can see what comes onto the screen and uh, Turnergy Welcome comes on and it's by default gone straight to LiPo battery and what you can do is cycle through your different um, types of battery you want to charge via the type button so if I keep clicking that it'll just cycle straight through um, so in this case here, what I want to do is I want to do a LiPo charge. So I'm going to go all the way through until I reach LiPo battery. So now once we're on the LiPo charge, I'm happy with that because that's what I want to do. I want to charge a LiPo battery. I select that by pressing the enter and by default it's going to straight out LiPo charge. So this is not a balanced charge. It's just going to basically charge a battery up, which I don't want to do. What I'll do is I'll press the, press the plus and that takes me to balance and as you can see you can cycle through this through fast charges and storage and so on so I'll go through what some of these are so what I want to do is a LiPo balance charge then what I would do is set the voltage this is a 3S battery so I've gone to 3S if I wanted to change that I'll click that start again as you can see you're cycling through the amperage and you're also cycling through the voltage so I would just change it to the appropriate type of cell in this case it's a 11.1 which is a 3 cell select it um, and the amperage depending on how fast you want to charge it these are 800 milliamp batteries so I could theoretically go to 800 but I'm going to charge them a little bit slower um, these little batteries don't seem to like being char charged very quickly so I go to half the actual amperage which is 400 milliamps and I press the enter again and enter again until everything stops flashing. When I'm ready to charge, I just hold the start enter button and it checks the batteries and it's ready to go. It's asking me, do I want to stop or do I want to press enter to continue? I'll press enter to continue and it will start doing a charge. Now what you can do while it's charging at the moment is showing you the, um, the amperage and all that sort of stuff and the voltage going in and all that sort of stuff. Uh, you've got your timer and all that. If I press the plus, it'll show me the voltage of each cell. So one of them is at 10.1, 10.1, 10.11. 10 so that means all three cells are pretty good, in pretty good condition in this battery. It's not very flat, but um, uh, it'll basically go through and charge. And once it's finished charging, it will alarm and let you know that it's finished. What I'm gonna do is stop that now. Another thing, I'll go back to the beginning again, so we'll go right out of it. So say for argument's sake, you wanted to 
put your batteries in storage and you're not going to be using them for one or two weeks or thereabouts. All you need to do is once again go to LiPo, I press um, Enter to select it. I've selected it. Now it's ready to do a LiPo charge. That's not what I want to do. I'll press the plus. That's balance. I'll press the plus again and it's gone to fast charge and it goes to storage. Once again, the same deal exactly. I can press the enter key and I can change how many amps I want. 0.4 is okay for these batteries. Um, press enter again and it's a three cell LiPo so you would cycle through or plus or minus to get to your three cell. Press enter, that's ready to go. Hold the enter button again and it's ready to go. And off she goes, she's uh, doing a bringing the battery's voltage back down to storage. Um, I think it's around about 3.7 or 3.8 or thereabouts, which is an ideal voltage for LiPo batteries. It just stops them from um, puffing up and all that and uh, increases the battery life. So once again, I can press the plus and I can monitor what it's doing with each cell as it brings the voltages slowly down. And if you want to stop it, just press stop, which I will in this case, because I want to flatten my batteries. So um, that's pretty much it. I hope that kind of explains it, but um, that's the way you would charge your LiPos and also put them back in storage mode. Um, and that's doing a balanced charge. I might do another tutorial a little bit later on on the memory functions and storing different types of batteries. But there you go. I hope you found this useful.